Yes, there we are. We're back again. By popular demand. What were you telling me about you had a dream? I had a dream that you were lost. I, I couldn't find you. I didn't know if you walked off or whatever. But a lot of times at night, I wind up in a dream where I'm, I don't know where the hell I am. So there has to be some kind of Freudian, uh, Freudian frolic. Well, I had a dream I was taken hostage by a bunch of Republicans. By a bunch of Republicans, and you had to talk Republican? Yeah, to speak the, the language. Oh, yeah? And Did they have a two-tooth minimum? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So uh, I was calling the authorities, and the, they were asking me, and I, said, I told them that I was selling guns. <laughs> he said, so what are y'all doing? And I said, Paul? I'm selling them firearms. <laughs> <laughs> you what? I said, Paul, I'm selling them firearms. <laughs> I'm selling them hard. <laughs> and, and did that work? Yes, it worked. It did work? Indeed, it worked. <laughs> Yeah, I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> I'm very proud of y'all. <laughs> oh, shit. And, uh, oh, man. And uh, you ran into people from London over there at the cake shop? Yeah, they, they thought that all Americans love pumpkins. Love pumpkins, yeah, well. I told them they were uh, all Americans love They don't cherries. have pumpkins in London? No, they they don't. They're pumpkinless people. They're pumpkinless. Wow. We stole them all. <laughs> oh. Wow. Um, I told you I was reading um, Sherlock Holmes, and uh, I, uh, I'm friendly with uh, the Brixton bike shop. And uh, in Sherlock Holmes, Brixton uh, was a bad neighborhood. Yeah. Now it's, uh, I guess it's kind of chic. It's hip. Yeah, everyone's John Travolta. Yeah, and uh, the Hearn, Hearn Hill uh, Velodrome, too. I'm a supporter of Hearn Hill Velodrome. Anyway... We're going to read a little bit of our uh, of our skit here. Yes, we are. Okay, shall we? Yes. I told a friend that I can't wait until his rehab is over. He said, well, at least you, you'll be drug-free. And I said, what do you mean? I'm renovating my bathroom. <laughs> and pickleball has become mainstream now, but uh, it still leaves a sour taste in my mouth. I was about to get in bed, and she said, you're drunk. I answered, how do you know that? And she said, because you live next door. <laughs> he told me, he, he showed me he could understand how I felt now because he just walked a mile in my shoes. I told him, I thought someone was in my, in my shoes. I thought someone was in my shoes. Yeah. You used to go to a freak show to see the tattoo lady. Now you just look out at the audience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was installing a cabinet at a friend's house and I brought my dog Simon along. And someone was at the front door, and when it opened, Simon ran out to the person barking, and I yelled, Simon, get in here. Then this man at the door came walking over to me with this shooter's look on his face. I said, are you okay? He said, I'm Simon. <laughs> there's no Italian restaurants in Italy. There's only, there are only, oh, there's no Italian restaurants in Italy. There are only restaurants. Uh, American restaurants in Italy. Uh, I always wonder why they call them Italian olives. Do the olives know they're Italian? <laughs> yeah, really. Why do we celebrate a day giving thanks that uh, to a holiday that the bucklehead stole from natives? Are we actually giving thanks for destroying a culture? Yeah, we're, we're giving thanks for the slaughterment of Native Americans. I don't know what kind of professional you are in life, but your wife will school you on how to take out the garbage. I see. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, it's this wait, one. Wait a minute. This wait a minute. This wait a minute. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. The mayor has declared <laughs> war on rats and never mentioned once that the dining shacks on the street. The man has a firm grasp on the obvious. Except the obvious. Yeah. Oh, I, I looked up people that are born on my birthday, and some people get Robert Mitchum. I get Woody Allen. 
off, I'd say. It took six years to get Trump's tax returns. I guess it took that long for the IRS to find them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Did you drop a jalapeno pepper on the kitchen floor and have it burn through the floors of your apartment house? <laughs> I think Will Smith should slap uh, Kanye West. That kind of shit. In the face. In the face. I spent Thanksgiving with people that had RSV. Oh. But I didn't get it. So maybe I needed the RSVP in order to get it. You never know. Yeah. And uh, since we... Messed up that today. Uh, yes. <laughs> Benjamin's 12 years old. You're 12 years old now? Yeah, you're seven. You've been peeing on my lap for 12 years now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and pretty soon you'll be going to high school. I know, I'll be peeing on your lap there. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know. We're hoping we can get you in a high school in Manhattan. Indeed, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. You don't want to be breathing that fresh air up there in Peekskill. Oh, oh it's terrible. Uh, <laughs> okay, say goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye, Jima. <laughs>